channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this Freddy Krueger makeup look from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger is an iconic Halloween legend, so I thought it'd be only appropriate to turn myself into him this Halloween. So in this video, not only am I going to be showing you how you can achieve his makeup, but I'm also going to be showing you how you can take one of the gloves that you can buy from either Spirit Halloween, Amazon, Walmart, what have you, and refurbish it to kind of make it a look a little bit more intense and dramatic. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I will be uploading a new Halloween themed makeup tutorial every weekday for the entire month of October, so you definitely don't want to miss out because I have some spoopy things planned. So anyways, with all that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can turn yourself into Freddy Krueger this Halloween, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so to start off, I'm going to be showing you how you can DIY Freddy Krueger's glove to give it more detail and make it a little bit more scary and movie accurate. So to start off, the products you're going to need are the glove. I went ahead and got this glove from Spirit Halloween, and you can also get it from a variety of other costume stores as well. Some paint, I'm using the Apple Barrel brand that you can get from Walmart because they're literally like a dollar each. So I'm going to be using the colors Coffee Bean, Nutmeg Brown, and Burnt Umber and also a paintbrush to be able to add the details and splatter it on as well. So the tricks I highly recommend for this entire tutorial is to definitely focus a lot of the paint colors onto areas that the glove would rest a little bit more. So this is around the areas that there are nuts and bolts and the areas that the glove hinges at. We want to make sure to add a variety of different colors, so I recommend using the lighter colors first and then working your way up to the darker colors and feel free to blend this out using your finger, a paper towel, what have you. But you definitely want to just kind of flick the color on and make it look like there's a bunch of individual scratches and rest bits throughout this entire glove. I'm also going to be taking the color Spiced Berry and sporadically applying this throughout the glove as well. I wanted to do this to kind of give the illusion of some dried blood in certain areas that might be hard for him to remove. So this would be like under some of the bolts and the hinges just because I feel like some blood could easily get stuck there and around the edges as well. And then also feel free to add some details throughout the entire glove part, not just the metal bits, because that part definitely seemed to be a little too light in comparison to the glove that Freddy Krueger has in the movie. And there you have his completed DIY glove. So next I'm going to be moving on to the makeup portion of this video where I'm actually going to be blocking out my eyebrows first. So you want to take an Elmer's glue stick for this. I'm going to be applying some on my spatula and just spreading this throughout my brow hairs. I definitely wanted to take a thicker amount and just literally slather all this on. If you're having a hard time with the spatula spreading this on your eyebrow, feel free to go in with your finger. It kind of helps warm up the glue stick a little bit and definitely makes it a little bit easier to spread. So if you warm it up in your fingers first, that's definitely going to help a little bit and then you can even and smooth that out some more with the palette knife afterwards. So once you do that, you want to take some baby powder or setting powder and go ahead and set that for the first layer and continue as many layers as needed. I did three. I'm then going to be brushing off the excess baby powder before moving on to taking some petroleum jelly, rubbing that through my fingers and applying that throughout my hairline and also bringing some of that down to my neck as well because the neck can definitely get a little irritated with liquid latex. So I definitely want to protect that a little bit more. Next, I'm going to be taking my Bad Gone Evil Thin Medium Bald Cap, and I'm going to be just putting this right on my head with my hair already pulled back, and then taking some Ben Nye Spear Gum and applying this to the forehead portion of the head before we go ahead and cut out the ears. The trick to this is to kind of fold your ear down, cut out the little notch where the tip of your ear is, and then go ahead and cut the line directly from your cheek diagonally upwards towards that pointed ear. I'm then going to be using some spirit gum to glue that side down as well. And then you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Once again, cutting out that tiny notch at the tip of your ear, cutting diagonally, pulling that behind your ear and gluing down the front piece. Now, since I'm a girl, the great thing is I can actually just take these back pieces and pull it back and pin it into my ponytail. So if it doesn't pull back completely, you can definitely use some bobby pins and just go ahead and stick that in. And you're going to stick your ponytail behind the costume. Next, I'm going to be taking my Moon Creations Body Crayon in Pale Skin, and using this, I'm actually going to go ahead and give a rough outline to the areas that I want to apply the liquid latex paste in order to create his raw flesh that has been burnt away. So definitely just kind of using a reference photo for this, seeing where the majority of his are. I know whenever I'm doing the actual application process, it's going to differ slightly, but I definitely wanted to just give myself an idea of how his injuries looked so I can try to replicate them as best that I can. 
So to create his scars, I'm actually going to be making some latex paste. So in order to do this, I'm going to be taking some liquid latex and some flour, mixing it together until you get a paste-like consistency and using my spatula to apply this to my face. There are so many ways that you can create his scarring. You can use some third degree, you can use scar wax, you can use just liquid latex, you can use just body paint. But for me, I definitely wanted to try this technique because I definitely wanted his scarring to be three-dimensional. However, I wanted it to be easily recreatable for you guys. I didn't want it to be third degree because that can definitely be a little bit more pricey, even though that could create a more accurate look. Another way I've seen people do this is to use some gelatin, which is of course something that you can do as well. For me, I struggle with gelatin actually sticking to my face. It actually tends to fall off. So I went ahead and wanted to try this technique. I've never used it directly on my face in a way like this before. I've only used it for big prosthetics, but I actually really liked how this technique turned out. So as you can see, I'm just using my spatula to just kind of follow the rough estimation of the wounds that I had already drawn out on my face. I'm even going to be adding a little bit more since because burned flesh has a lot of just lines and scarring. I'm going to be filling in some gaps by creating some lines. So another trick is you definitely don't want to forget to apply some of this to your ears so that way it kind of blends in to the rest of your face and also apply a little bit onto your neck as well. I stopped a little bit above the forehead area because I knew I was going to be wearing a hat so I didn't want to waste too much product. Now to blend everything together a little bit more, I'm just going to be taking some liquid latex on a wedge sponge and applying this all over my face. The reason I'm doing this is because I felt like the texture of the latex can kind of seep into the areas where I don't have any latex on my face and kind of just help create a uniform texture. Next, I'm going to be setting all of this with some Johnson's baby powder. So I'm going to be using a large fluffy brush and applying this all over the areas that I had the liquid latex. Next, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Warm Nude and using a foundation brush, I'm just going to be applying this all over my face to give my face a uniform color. I'm using this foundation because I actually really don't like this foundation on my face. So I use it for a lot of my special effects makeup looks. Next, I will be taking my Made You Look body paint in Cherry, and using this, I'm going to be filling in all of these scars. This is definitely the first step in the painting process, so don't be afraid to just really apply this absolutely everywhere that your skin is flatter. You don't wanna apply this to any of the raised scars because once again, those are going to be the normal skin texture. This is the areas that are definitely more raw and scarred from the burns. Next, I'm also going to be taking a little bit of this cherry red body paint onto the edge of a sponge. And I'm actually going to be stippling this surrounding the eye area because around his eyes, he definitely doesn't have as much scarring and it's definitely just more irritated and dark. Next, I'm going to be taking my Made You Look Body Paint in Cherry and mixing that with my Made You Look Body Paint in Ink. And this step, we're definitely going to be focusing more so on the detail and dimension of his scars. So we're going to be darkening up the areas and adding shadows to his scars. And this is really going to help bring this look to life. So a trick is anywhere that you see large ridges, you want a dark scar to back up to that because that is going to be a deeper scar in your face. So you definitely want a lot of your scars to have some kind of shadow because this is really going to help bring the look to life and I'm using a variation of this mixture of colors. Some areas you want to have more black, others you want to be a little bit more burgundy and definitely kind of create some kind of ombre effect in this makeup. I'm also going to be shading out his nose a little bit more and kind of using this mixture of body paint to give his nose a little bit more of the character shape that it has in the movie, which is a little bit more pointed and kind of creating an angry snarl like effect over by the nostrils. Next, I'm going to be taking my Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette, taking Black Beach, and I'm going to be applying this to the eyes. I'm going to start off by darkening up the brow bone and blending that upwards before applying a little bit of this eyeshadow onto a sponge and just stippling this all over my eyes. Once that is complete, you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other eyes. This is really going to help just darken and somewhat create an ombre effect around the eyes, so it definitely looks like it's going to be framing his eyes and his face a little bit more. And I'm going to be taking some of this eyeshadow and applying this to the lower part of my neck because I don't want to have to completely scar up and add latex to my neck area. I definitely just wanted to kind of create that illusion there lightly. And then you're going to be taking the eyeshadow and just deepening up the scars even more. So sporadically, I'm just going to look at some of the scars that I want to be a little deeper and a little bit more um, spoopy, I guess, and just apply some black eyeshadow into those areas. 
I'm then going to be taking some petroleum jelly on a wedge sponge and stippling this all over my face. The reason I'm doing this is to kind of give it a little bit more of a greasy effect in order to kind of replicate the shine that burns typically have. Another item that you can definitely use is some KY jelly, which I definitely think will give a more realistic effect. I just didn't have any on me at the time. Next, I'm going to be going back into my Made You Look Body Paint and Cherry, and using a chip brush, I'm going to be splattering this over my face. This is really going to help naturally give a little bit more redness to those raised scar areas. And also, when you focus this around the eyes, it's going to help the eye area and mouth area blend into the scarrings a little bit better. And last but not least, I'm going to be taking my Skin Illustrator Tooth Lacquer Palette. This is an alcohol activated palette made specifically for your teeth. I'm going to be taking a mixture of tobacco, coffee stain, and nicotine. And to do this, you definitely want to make sure your teeth are dry first. And then taking a small brush, you're going to be going in to those alcohol activated paints. Once again, they can only be activated with 99% alcohol and applying this directly to your teeth. You definitely want to make sure it is completely dried before you try swallowing or anything. Otherwise, it's going to taste pretty bad. And that is my completed Freddy Krueger makeup tutorial from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I will be uploading a new Halloween themed makeup tutorial every weekday for the entire month of October, so you guys definitely don't want to miss it. Also, if you haven't already, definitely make sure you're subscribed because I will be posting a huge giveaway towards the end of October, and I definitely know you guys want to see that and be a part of that, so it's really, really exciting, and I can't wait to show that to you guys once all of the items come in and then last but not least if you haven't already please consider supporting me on patreon you can support for as little as a dollar a month to receive all exclusive behind the scenes access to sneak peeks of upcoming looks before anybody else and behind the scenes tips and tricks as well so once again thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one bye